interactive thing. Um, talk about what went on in the district, the good, the bad, and unfortunately some of the other. Um, most of it's real good stuff. These officers are working their butts off of you. Um, crime rate overall is down 11 or 12 percent. We'll see those slides. So I'm very pleased about that. Our biggest issue in the district uh, is speeding in the communities. That's what I hear from you guys. Unfortunately, that's the main of our existence for right now. Um, a couple of good notes that are not in the slide. Uh, we made an arrest. If you remember us talking about the uh, Lord Murdoch. A uh, uh, young man was kicking in doors down in Lorton. We, we actually put our hands on him a couple of days ago. <coughs> Can't get into any real big details, but he's off the street. He's on. Uh, he's been arrested, and we think we've got a huge case against him. And it was just a lot of good old-fashioned police work, right on down to digging around in certain areas where he uh, frequent to get some evidence on. Uh, without getting into a whole lot of details, good work from our CIS folks. Patrol everybody to make this happen. All right, let's try to get this thing on the right. All right, speaking of murders, we're down 21%. That's huge for West Springfield District because we're a bedroom community. And burglary impacts us all. I mean, think about it. You go to work, you work hard, you come home, you find your front door kicked in, uh, back glass, sliding glass kicked in, and all the possessions you work very hard, it, it's gone. They're all gone. Um, you feel violated. This is a very serious crime. We in West Springfield and the Fairfax County Police Department take it very seriously, so we make it our business to try to get these folks off the street. So seeing the drop of 21% of murders in West Springfield, that's huge for us. Very proud of that. Structure the property down 14%. What does that mean? You've got less kids busting your mailboxes, damaging your vehicle, TP in your houses, graffiti on um, places around the district. Larceny and death defenses down again 9%. Um, these are the things that strike us outside of our homes right to heart. So you come out in your car because you didn't put away your GPS like JT told you month after month after month, it's gone out of your car. You left your cell phone or your laptop in the car and it gets stolen. We went down to, my wife and I went down to Leesburg to do some shopping for my, for my kid before back to school. She's doing work in the car on her computer, her county computer. And uh, we get out of the car and still the county computer in the back seat. And as I lock the door, I look in, I see, you know, the computer in there. So I put it underneath the seat, covered up the papers. And I'm like, why would you do that? She said, well, no one's going to steal it. I'm like, well, what if they do? And they will. And they do steal it. And now you have all this county information on it. Well, it's got a password protection on it. That's not the point. You know, you don't want your stuff stolen. Out of sight, out of mind, right? So why don't you put it in the uh, trunk of the car or into the seat? Just simple stuff that you think a cop's wife would know. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Motor vehicle thefts, believe it or not, down nationwide. <coughs> the reason it's down because you folks are paying attention. You're locking your doors, you're being very observant. And also, technology has a lot to do with this. The cars are harder to break in. Now, I just heard of a very interesting trick today. I'm not even sure I should even tell you this. Now, I'm going to tell you. Go ahead. Explain to them what you explain to me. You don't want to believe me. Have you all seen the trick where you cut a hole in a tennis ball and you're locked out of your car? You take the tennis ball, you put it over your lock, and you get the tennis ball and it'll make the car lock. Have you seen that? Yeah. I didn't know it either. I'm not going to tell you about the other trick. It's, <laughs> it's on shock too. And that's what's scary. Yeah. The burst of air pressure through the lock cylinder um, activates all the tumblers at the same time, and if you have electronic locks, it'll go in and unlock the car in certain vehicles. I tell you something. Kids are smart, and it's on YouTube. So do everything you can to protect yourself by keeping your stuff locked, keeping valuables out of your car, because there's no reason going to your car to get your stuff if there's nothing to get. Assault offenses are now 14%, even though we had one of the most publicized uh, videotape meetings that I've seen in Fairfax County for my whole career. You guys remember seeing the video over here in Burke, was it? Burke? North Springfield. North Springfield. We had a young man who attended a party. Several people attended the party. The young man was from Bishop Ireland School. Um, he had held a party, invited maybe 20 people, but it went on social media. Somebody thought it was neat to put it out there on Facebook. So instead of 20 people showed up, 120 people <coughs> showed up. So he's freaked out. He's like, look, my mom and dad didn't buy into this. You want to wreck my house. I need you to go. So he ended the party early and kicked these folks out of his house. Well, in doing so, he angered some of the participants. 
Uh, on the way out, a young man leaving the house kicked the shoe of one of the attendees. Simply kicked the shoe walking out of the, the party. Well, I guess the words were exchanged because in the front yard of someone's house, um, four or five, I think we counted up to five people, just started to pummel him. Got him on the ground. It was a very vicious beating. Looking at that videotape, I'm thinking, this young man is on the verge of being killed. They quit beating him. They were taking, it must have been two or three folks taking video uh, of him. But luckily, the house in which they were fighting in front of had an external video camera because the gentleman was a uh, subject of uh, break-ins in his car. So the videotape was there. Um, the guys get up, and this young man, believe it or not, gets on his feet and runs away with the crowd of people that was running away. And I was like, I'm just amazed this guy was able to get up after sustaining that kind of beating. Well, we found him, man. We went back down to the campus. We actually found his ID in the grass. Made contact with him, and all he had was an abrasion on his head and a contusion to his jaw and some sore ribs. But I mean, it was a very vicious beating. But that video went viral. Uh, all the news stations locally carried it along with CNN. CNN? Couldn't believe it. So, a lot of pressure for the police department to find this guy. We did. Uh, unfortunately, we have not identified all the uh, uh, suspects in the meeting. The young man didn't want anything to do with it. He's going off to college. He just wants us behind him. But uh, yeah, so it made the news. So anyway, assaults are down 14%. Drug and narcotic offenses are down, glad to say, 23%. But a lot of the arrests we made were self-initiated by the officers. So that's telling me one of two things, either officers are not working as hard as they should be, or folks are going somewhere else to do their dirty drug business. So let's hope it's the lab. Um, homicides, we only had one in 2013, and that was an infant death. Um, it was an abuse case, nothing that we made to do, that's why you haven't heard of that in the district. Robbery, this is the thing that kind of bugs me, is that we're up 31%, because we had some issues in Area 700, which is in Annandale, we had multiple issues up there. Uh, I think we have resolved that issue through investigation and increased patrols. So I anticipate that these numbers, as long as we don't have any other series, will be down next year. The sex offenses are down 26%. So overall, we're down 12%. That's a win-win for you. That's a win-win for us. And it's all because of the hard work of the officers and the dedication to the citizens calling in. Because when they see something, they say something. You guys are great about calling. Um, just an overall kind of a snapshot of the county as far as the homicide. Uh, Reston had a drug-related shooting that was closed. The good thing about us in Fairfax County is that we closed the majority of our homicide cases. Now, with that, a lot of our homicide cases are domestic-related. So that means husband wife, wife and husband, or known partners. And uh, that information comes to the investigators and easier leads to follow up. Um, the one in our district we had uh, recently, well, it was kind of on a borderline. It was actually in Franconia's district, but the body was dropped in West Springfield. And that was a uh, domestic violence case. Mason, again, domestic violence, and as you can see, all was domestic violence. Now, the uh, Vanessa Pham case, you heard about that on the news. The young lady who gave a ride to a uh, drugged out citizen who killed her. That was a couple of years ago. But, you know, we made closure in that case, and that guy got convicted. So that's a win-win for us. Traffic enforcement, we talked about speeding in the district, which is heavy duty. Um, I'm proud to say West Springfield, we had a, an initiative, Summer Heat, told you about it before we adjourned in the summer. And we were leading the county um, the first two ways, as you can see significantly. Um, because I kind of called around the other district stations and made fun of them and kind of taught as captains, way three, I'm not so sure we did as well. Um, Jim Bombstar down in Franconia, he was like, you're not going to beat me ever again. So now he's got his folks out working hard. But that's okay. A little friendly competition is good for everybody. Unless you're one of the ones got to take it. <laughs> Other than that, it's good for everybody. Uh, right now, we're right in the middle of the school reduction speed, the school zone reduction program called, uh, I'm sorry, Operation Blue Guardian, uh, which is uh, passing school bus.